What's up, party people? Welcome back to Light Up the Woods, my YouTube channel. So today, I know you read the title and you're just like, okay, can you just, which one is it? Okay, we gonna talk about it right after this intro because I gotta get the song stuck in your head. Light up the woods, light up the woods, one syllable at a time. Light up the woods, light up the woods, one video at a time. Light up the woods, light up the woods, one syllable at a time. Light up the woods, light up the woods, one video at a time. On day 11 of our 30 lessons in 30 years and yesterday we talked about how sometimes it's your fault talked about taking accountability talked about seeing things from somebody else's perspective and realizing how you could have contributed to the harm done we talked about the difference between uh, intent and impact right sometimes it's your fault even if it wasn't your intention you know what I'm saying Today, we're balancing that out. That's why the title is such a opposite sounding situation. Because it's about balance. We have to meet in the middle of yesterday's lesson and today's lesson. Sometimes it's your fault. But baby, it is not always your fault. I had to learn that. Because see, I grew up pretty much groomed to always take the blame for things. Like when you grow up with a whole bunch of people who like, it's never their fault, then it's always your fault. And and I was allowed to believe that most things were my fault. It came to a point where my first response to everything was, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't need yesterday's lesson because it was always my fault. Yeah sad but true now that's a very dangerous way to grow up in this world because i tell you what if you want to take the blame they'll let you most people will let you even if they know it's not your fault they'll let you they'll let you take the blame even if they know it's not your fault so that's why you got to understand that while sometimes it's your fault, baby, it ain't always your fault. Baby, it ain't always your fault. It ain't always your fault. Don't you go carrying a load that don't belong to you. Okay. Now, <laughs> let's tell y'all stories. So go on and gather your blankets and whatnot and your little popcorn. Right? So, once upon a time, uh, what had happened was... Yeah, let's start with that. See, what had happened was... When I graduated college, I was dealing with this fellow. Now... I say dealing with because I was never actually with this person. You know that person in your life that y'all, you just entertain it for a very long time. But in your head, you're not really serious. You This this not going to work. Yeah. So me and this person argued all the time. Like, I ain't never argued with nobody as much as I argue with this person. Now, I argue with my mother, but not as much as this person. I argue with my very best friend, but not, but not as much as with this person. We argue all the time. Maybe one time we argued about the importance of saying thank you. Now, guess which side of... Never mind. Y'all should already know. <laughs> Moving on. So, um, he and I get into it 
all the time. And it's always my fault. No, not really, but I'm always told it's my fault. And me, like I just told you, am programmed to always take the fault, and so I take it. So I'm carrying all the blame, everything, with this person. So then one day something happens, and I'm like trying to process, okay, how is it my fault, how is it my fault, how is it my fault? Because I always try to like pinpoint my fault like what I did wrong so that I could apologize specifically. I don't, I've just always been that way. I, you know, I am sorry for doing X, Y, and Z. And I'm trying to find what I did wrong only to come up with nothing. So I say nothing. Keep it moving. Fast forward. We actually get into an argument about having arguments. Y'all see how stupid this sounds. Now we both fools, okay? I I, I count myself as a fool too, because why am I entertaining this for so long? What the, child, I don't know why we do this to ourselves. Is it just me? I know it's not just me, because I be on the internet. Y'all be entertaining some foolishness as well, okay? Don't leave me out here hanging by myself. So us fools, are arguing about arguing and I paused for a moment and I said so so you're saying nothing is your fault this man says no straight face no I'm like interesting so So would that mean that you believe that everything is my fault? This man said, straight face, yes, everything's your fault. you have dialed has been changed okay and it was just the spirit of hush that's how long it went it's like my spirit was just like baby girl hush later that day I'm in my room by myself processing everything to rest and out of nowhere I yell it's not always my fault it's not always my fault y'all I look like (laughs) I look like a mad woman in that room by myself it's not always my fault it's not It felt like something broke off my brain. It felt like something broke off my brain and there was like this part of my brain that was now exposed and light was finally shining on that part of my brain that has been in the darkness for so long. It's like all the blame that people had just piled on top of me was sitting on that spot and in that moment, it just came right off. And it was like, yo, it's not always my fault. And I just started processing. So I felt like I was in a counselor's office, but I was by myself in my bedroom, tweaking. <laughs> Sorry. I know I didn't just start. Anyways, so that just started a, 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 a processing for me. And that's really when I realized I'll be taking the blame for everything. And that's also when I realized and they like me. Mm-hmm. 
If you're willing to take the blame, most people will let you. I mean, sometimes it is your fault. And we talked about that yesterday. But it's not always your fault. Okay? Let, let's find the balance. Sometimes it's nobody's fault. Sometimes it's a lot of people's fault. Don't, don't carry that load. If it don't belong to you. Cause enough of that load come on. You going to fall under. It's not always your fault. Sometimes it is. But sometimes it ain't. Now what's important. Is not necessarily whose fault it is. But what we do moving forward. So I'm going to leave you with just this phrase. Don't focus on the misstep. Focus on the next step. Don't focus on the misstep. Focus on the next step. Boom. This happened. Okay. It's it's our fault. I didn't say bypass the misstep now. Don't bypass it. We got to analyze. Oh, where did we go wrong? What did I do? What did who do? Acknowledge it, but then focus on the next step. What am I going to do next? What are we going to do next? How are we going to move forward from this? Okay? But remember, it ain't always your fault. Okay? All right. Well, I thank you for listening. And until I see you again, you have a duty to shine your light in this world. So, go on and let it Bye.